Things are a little bit quieter in the back shop of the 23rd Component Maintenance Squadron at Moody Air Force Base, at least compared to the flight line, where the jet engines they work on come from, and production supervisor Sergeant Gladstone Edwards Jr. Staff Sergeant, soon to be Tech Sergeant, soon to be. Is turning heads. Yes, sir. A lot of them, over and over and over again. So many so that if he was paid per bolt. Man, I'd be a millionaire, cuz. Millionaire. Because he's worked on nearly every jet engine at Moody for the last five years. The old C-130P motors and the H860 motors. Worked the C-130Ps and the J's on the line. Today, they're working on an A-10 engine from Davis Mothin Air Force Base. Circuit pressure bolts, split line bolts, and then we'll pull this whole top compressor case off. They'll spend several hours this morning just removing bolts. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 in the body bounce. It kind of sounds like a surgery. <laughs> With their methodical approach, it feels like one too. It is surgery, man. It's pretty cool that, you know, to You're off of it. tear a motor all the way down and build it completely up. A procedure that takes about a month to complete. Oh, schizo. Nothing can explain the feeling of tearing it down, building it up, and seeing it run. And after all the engines he's worked on here in South Georgia, his sights were set on snowy winters. You know what? I, I, I really, I really do love the mission of Seesaw. Really do love the mission. I'm blessed that I was able to get to work them for four years. You know what I mean? But I want to get back to fighters, man. I want to get back. I want to at least before I get out, I want to be able to say that I've worked a new bird, so I would love to work, work a F-35. But no matter the location, Honestly, there's yeah. always engines in again. and engines out. They ain't alive. <laughs> From the back shop, Moody Air Force Base, I'm Sergeant Richard Coffers.